What's up everybody, Mr. OG Games here. Big shout out to all the people in the OG Nation. That's a line group that I run. All the supporters of the channel, people from all over the realms, the globe. Much support, much knowledge learned there. And also a big shout out to Super Newbie. Without his support, I wouldn't be making this video right now. Now, on to what I'm able to do today, and that is to take and make our next piece of red artifact. So first, let's get what we need to get it going. And as you know, to get each artifact at red, you need 2,000 star power. So we're able to finally do that now. Up until this point, I was 10 star power away as of yesterday. 10. It killed me. Anyway, boom, 75. Now that will bring it to where we need to be. So, of course, you know, in order to retrieve what you need, you need to take some back. And we'll do so. 2,065. Now, the reason I also put it in the array is to build up the base stats on your artifacts that you have currently in use until I get to that next level. Since I'm at that next level, it's time to get them back and it's time to choose the second artifact that I wanna be able to bring up. Now, looking across the board, I have multiple choices and I'll go through each one of these choices just to show you kind of what I was able to uh, come up with. And honestly, you can see a majority of these orange, even though at three stars, they're at level one, which honestly, I don't use them on a daily basis. So I'm going to break it down and make it easier. I'm going to go with the five pieces that I have that are three star and above and leveled up to a significant level. So first you have the golden armor. We can reduce the damage of troops that attack your castle by, by 5%. Damage reduction is nice. How often am I attacked? Not so much. Next piece, the Holy Robe. This one will recover 8% of wounded instantly after the battle is over. Yeah, I'm really not feeling that as well because I'm, I'm all about bringing my wounded level up in other ways and I don't want to sacrifice the 2,000 star power for something like that. Call Twitch. When attacking lords, cast three sets of lightning balls towards the enemy's position. Damage is the number of your surviving troops times 21 and have a 20% chance of missing the target's attack stop for two seconds. With a cooldown of about 10 seconds it's a nice piece that's also going to go with what i run currently it's also going to give me that extra bit of damage that i'm looking for it's going to cast against the enemy position three sets three you know three different opponents that's definitely the number one contender you have leviathan for one hour after using the skill, 9% of killed troops will automatically be converted to wounded until your hospital is full and attack battles. Not really liking that so much. Excalibur, I don't have it equipped. I don't use it on the regular. As you can see, select a castle to make its defensive troops reduce damage dealt by 6% for 12 hours. Now, I don't usually, you know, one hit on an opponent 
Okay, damage dealt 6% less. Okay, so or I'll you know reduce the damage. Also, not what I'm going to go for. Cold Witch is the winner. This is going to benefit me all around. It's going to give me a majority. Since I'm majority attacking anyways, it just makes the most sense to me to give me that much more damage dealt and it'll pair well with the piece that I already have, which is the Heavenly Spear. You've seen it. Now it's time to pair it up with the Heavenly Spear. So let's go ahead and evolve it. This will give me my second piece. We're gonna go ahead and share that to the fellas and ladies in the Alliance. And it's gonna look pretty. I know it is. I know I know the double red is gonna look beautiful. Might even have to put them side by side, you know, make them look beautiful together. Make a little face out of it, you know, two eyes, two red eyes. Anyways, anyways, there we have it. Now, from here on, you know we're gonna have to put it to use. We're gonna get some exercise on our second red piece. And that's gonna be for some future videos. I want to address a couple other things while I have you. I've had a lot of people uh, asking, what do I do with the star power? What do I, you know, how do I, how do I use it until I can't use it, use it? And that's simply do your upgrades in your array. 200, then I believe it's 250, then 300, and so on as it goes up and that's gonna bring your base stats up. Now, how to get this star power? Uh, go to your star palace, what I do, and I don't think I can do it now, but if you go to upgrade and go through each one, first, I would upgrade the ones that you use and that you, you know, that's gonna benefit you the most, like anything with your, you know, your attack, your HP, your damage. Those things are, you know, what are you currently set up for? That's what I would poke that into uh, as you can see I've got them pretty much maxed out but every one you max out also will give you for each level a little bit more star power also so if you have if you go into your you know your pack and you have we'll scroll down here you see the star source put it to use get the star power from it and that will make you level up to your red artifacts that much quicker also, once you do have a red artifact, you're, you can level them up accordingly. So right now we have two at level one, uh, but we could also level, uh, not quite yet, because if I were to bring back one of those, that would give me four, okay? 4,000. At 5,000 total, you can take one up to an additional level of two. So we'll go real quick. If we were to, hold on a second. We don't want to do that either. Skill upgrade, my fingers, they're not working. 3,000, okay, so you have your 2,000 for your first initial level, then an additional 3,000 will bring that up to a level two. Me personally, I'll rock these two until I get to 5,000. And then maybe at that point may play around to see if it's better to have one at level two or to have two red artifacts but big day big steps were made uh, once again a big shout out to newbie I do appreciate all the support that you've given uh, especially over the last year on the channel most appreciate it and uh, I appreciate everybody out there not only in the OG nation but you guys that follow the channel leave the comments ask the questions give your insight and thoughts on the game it is most appreciated and as always if you guys like the video smash the thumbs up button and if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe and until next time y'all keep gaming and i'll see you in the next one she purdy